Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you my results of eating only organic produce for 30 days. Now some of this was organic and local and some was organic and international, but I had a focus on eating fruits and vegetables, mostly vegetables, uh, from the farmer's market. And this farmer's market, it happens once a week and I would go and get the produce there. I started in the winter time, so there was mostly potatoes, carrots, only like root vegetables, some leafy greens, but that was a rarity to be honest with you. So now there is more of a variety. It's June right now, so it's uh, getting better and better. And then September, October, that's when it's going to be the harvest season where there's a lot of the fruits and vegetables. Now to back up a bit, the reason why I started eating from farmers markets is because I was being called to do so. I felt the fruits and vegetables weren't the same, energetically speaking. I'm someone who feels energies quite a bit, and I was noticing like mangoes, for example, during the winter time. Obviously, it's not from Canada, it's gonna be from outside of Canada, but the energy of it was much lower, and I didn't feel like I was being nourished at all. My inner voice was saying, it's time that you connect more to the farmers around you, to the farmer's market, and eat from there. The results that I got was really surprising, how much more energy I had. Emotionally, it also affected me. I felt more nourished on the cellular level. And I felt like I could adapt more to the changing of the season. And that's why it's so important to eat local because it's eating from the land that you live on and connecting and eating to the foods that that's grown around you it helps you to adapt to the various seasons it strengthens your immune system it gives you a more balanced mind and balanced body that's why it's so important to eat local organic fruits and vegetables is also grown without the use of chemical pesticides like glyphosate Glyphosate has been proven that it causes imbalance within your gut flora and an imbalance in your gut means an imbalance in your brain as well. 90% of your serotonin, if not more, is produced within your gut. Serotonin is a feel-good neurotransmitter and if you don't have a balanced gut, then this will get out of balance. And your gut flora is important in absorbing nutrients from the fruits and vegetables you eat, from any food that you eat. And the agricultural practices with conventional fruits and vegetables, which is monocropping, it depletes the soil where the same crop is grown over and over again on the same land without giving the land a chance to replenish itself. How much nutrients are you actually getting into your body? And that's why supplementation has been so popular because we're not getting the same amount of nutrients that our great grandparents would get from, you know, maybe spinach or apple, or it's like you need to eat so much more of it. The moment a fruit or vegetable is taken away from the crop is the moment that the nutritional value decreases. Farmers markets, they tend to, especially the ones that are organic farmers markets, they would harvest it not too long before. Um, their day of selling. One other thing that I did was being fully present with what I'm eating. Mindful eating is very important. Without having your phone, watching something on your laptop, and I, I get it, I used to love doing that, but my intuition would clearly tell me, do not do this. And I noticed a huge difference with how my body would process the food. When we're watching something, we might be just eating quickly and like inhaling a lot of air and that causes bloating. And not only that, the lack of presence with food creates a lack of assimilation or true absorption of, of the food that we're eating. So being fully present helps to not only assimilate but to really make digestion smoother and giving full focus to what you're eating allows the body to digest better. When you have your focus elsewhere, especially if you're watching something that is emotionally triggering or it might be just, it takes you away from really allowing the body to digest fully. And this is something very important and it's hard at the beginning to shift out of it if it is something that you do where you eat and watch something. 
but it's essential in order to improve digestion. Eating from the farmer's market also increases your quality of life in the sense of allowing you to nourish your body on a deeper level, connecting to the farmers. This also is an important relationship to cultivate for your own mental and physical well-being. This is something that we have forgotten and we need to return back to in order to truly nourish the body. And you can see a lot of people getting sick and they don't know why and doctors don't know why. And this is why I have dedicated time to studying nutrition. I'm now a holistic nutritionist and more videos will be coming about nutrition because it is something I am so passionate about because true health begins with what you're eating and where it's coming from and having that presence with your food and having gratitude for what you're eating and the connection to the earth will heal you on a level that you wouldn't have ever imagined people wake up only when they get really sick and they try to seek answers go to so many doctors and then they end up going to alternative medicine because alternative medicine like naturopathic medicine, Chinese medicine, or holistic nutrition is about the root cause instead of focusing on the symptoms and giving you a painkiller for the headache or just masking the symptom with uh, a pharmaceutical. There is a time and place for that, absolutely. But what if we can prevent instead of needing to take that uh, blood pressure medication? And focusing on truly fixing the food you know diabetes which is such a epidemic nowadays and it starts with what you eat so from my 30 days i realized the importance of me eating from the farmer's market and i do notice a huge difference when i skip one week it's been a couple months when where i've been going to the farmer's market quite often and it has done me so well to go there. I hope this inspires you to also try the farmer's market that's close to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to comment below any video recommendations that you would like to see from me about nutrition and I look forward to seeing you very very soon.